Hello, welcome to Science Chomp. Today we're going to be looking at Le Chatelier's principle. Now, if you haven't watched the video on chemical equilibrium, please do so because it will help to understand this one. But let's get right into it. Le Chatelier's principle states that if a system at equilibrium is exposed to stress, the system will shift to relieve that stress. Now, stresses come in three flavors. There's temperature, pressure, and concentration. So let's look at these one by one. Now consider th this reaction. We've got A plus B giving you C. We've got the forward reaction and also we've got the backward reaction as well where C can turn into A plus B. Now this is a balancing act so it's a little bit like this. Uh, if you increase uh, this one so it's, it's like a like a scale if you give lots and lots and lots of A, what happens is lots of C is produced to balance it out. Similarly, if you end up with lots and lots of C, the backward reaction is favoured to balance it out. So you've got this situation where you basically like got these scales, where it's just trying to even itself out. So to put that into, uh, onto the board, we can put like lots and lots of A here. Now, if you think about it, if it was a scale, it'd be like way down with the A down here. Now, what then happens is, according to this, it's exposed to stress, the stress being concentration, and the system will shift to relieve the stress. So how will it shift? Well, what happens is, all of this reacts with the B to produce much more of C, and every time it produces a C, some of this gets used up, and eventually, is going to balance itself out again. So increasing the concentration of one of the reactants is going to forward, uh, favor the forward reaction. Okay, nice and easy. Now consider this reaction. This is an endothermic reaction because it's taking up heat. So A plus some heat giving you C. Now, of course, I've done it wrong because you want to have one of these reversible arrows like that. Okay, now, suppose I increase the temperature. Increase temperature. What's gonna happen? Well, that's the same as giving lots and lots and lots and lots of heat. So again, what's happening is, on the balance side of things, you've got a lot more on the reactant side than the, than the product side. So it's gonna even out, and the way to even out is to produce much more C. And eventually what happens is it ends up balancing out. Nice and easy. Now let's consider an exothermic reaction. So in an exothermic reaction, what happens is the reactant forms the product and it gives off heat. So if you're increasing the temperature, what's happening is um, you are increasing this concentration over here. So you end up having the balance down here, so the scale goes down up there, and the only way to relieve that stress is for the backward reaction to happen. So you end up making much more A over here and getting rid of some of these, and this is how the system balances itself out. Okay, we've got one more stress to consider, and that's pressure. Now, if you assume these are gases and you subject a gas to a pressure, what's happening is effectively you're squishing it, squishing it, squishing it. And effectively, you've got a bigger number of particles in a smaller space. So if you subject a reaction to pressure to relieve that stress, the reaction will go in the direction with a lower number of particles. So let's count the particles. Over here you've got one and another one, so here we've got two particles, and over here we've only got one particle. So if you increase the pressure, what's going to happen is that it's going to produce more and more of C to relieve that pressure.
because you have less particles on this side. And that's it. That's Le Chatelier's principle with three different stresses we've uh, discussed. We've discussed temperature, pressure and concentration. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah.